Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Sanctuary. It's Zotto here bringing you my alt my old Brave deck. Updated with the from Booster Set G Booster Set 14. I believe I did it's really not too much different from the old deck profile except with like maybe two or three new cards, but it's become a lot more viable now. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting with my starter, I actually run two of them depending on the play playstyle. Or what clan I'm going up against. I run Blinking Knight Milius and Knight of Discipline Electos. Starting up with the new card skill, uh, Blinking Knight Milius. He has he's a four runner and he has the second skill. Put this unit into your soul. When when an attack hits during the battle of this unit boosted a unit with the brave ability, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at ten cards in the top of your deck, reveal up to two cards with Alt Mile on their card names and among them. Put one of the cards into your hand and put another one into the soul and then shuffle your deck. Basically, this deck runs off of a lot of soul. Actually, not too many counterblasts. It's still counterblast heavy, but more so for your combos. And then for the second starter, it's more of a tech card now just because of the brave mechanic. But it's Knight of Discipline Electos, his skill. Uh, Counterblast 1, put this unit into your soul. At the beginning of each battle phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card, and the brave abilities of your cards are active until the end of your turn. And the second ability, which is brave, uh, rest this unit. Choose one of your units, and it gets an extra 3k. So yeah, um, reason why Electus is basically still in here is because Tezzy has the brave ability, the new alt mile can now call him out, so that's why he's turned into a tech. But getting on to the great threes, I run four of the new alt mile, higher deity knight alt mile. Basically what alt mile needed for the longest time. His skill uh, once per turn, soul blast one unit on uh, one card with the brave ability. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, or when your G unit strides, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one card with the Brave ability that's not named Higher Deity Knight Alt Mile. Call it to Rearguard Circle and shuffle your deck. And then his GB2 skill, which is a both it's a Vanguard and Rearguard skill, Brave. When this unit attacks, if you have a Vanguard with the Brave ability, he gets an extra 5k and a crit. It's really good for your uh, fetus plays. Then I run two of the other alt mile, heavenly, um, heavenly knight of heavenly decree alt mile. Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, his auto, he has actually three abilities. The first one, GB two brave. When this unit attacks. Choose up to five of your rear guards, and they both they all get an extra four k. His second ability at the beginning of your ride phase: choose up to one card from your hand, call it to rear guard, and that unit gets an extra four k. And then his third ability: when your G unit strides during your turn, choose up to one card from your hand, call it to rear guard, then choose one of your units with the brave ability, and it gets an extra four k. He's literally kind of just in here for the old mile name, and then. This is my own personal car. I don't see a lot of people using it, but it's there just in case it's a bad ride. But I run one Knight of Knight of Connection Pictus. His skill is choose a card from your hand and discard it. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle or Rearguard Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one card with Alt Mile and its card name, reveal it. And if this unit is placed on the Vanguard Circle, ride it ride it on the Vanguard Circle as stand. And if this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle, put the revealed alt mile into your hand and shuffle your deck. And then his other skill, GB1, Brave. At the beginning of your battle phase, this unit gets an extra 5k till end of turn. It's literally just for, like, my alt mile searcher. So even if I ride into him, I'm able to get my other alt mile out. So he works out. Moving on to the grade 2 lineup. I run two, a little different, two of Knight of Flight Danius. I kind of like him because he's more of the, uh, 
because of now the additional brave cards that are in the deck, basically everything in here is brave. He's a beat stick for the most part. But his first ability, continuous ability, during your turn, this unit gets an extra 1k for each of your other units with the brave ability. So literally he's able to, he's, he is a 16k, excuse me, he's a 14k attacker on his own. If you use his ability, he's automatically a 16k. So that's 10k shield, like, <laughs> right off the bat. And his act ability, once per turn, brave. Counterblast 1. This, until end of turn, this unit gets plus 2k. And at the end of your turn, choose one of your other rear guards with the brave ability. And you may, re you may return it to your hand. So, oftentimes, my older deck, I used to run a counterblast that... You could return to your hand. If I didn't want to pay the cost for that, I can pay the cost with Danius. So he's good. Next, I run three of Knight of Aviscade Red on. He's still good in order for, like, the power gain. I only run three of him, though. I would It would be two, but I decided three just because I wanted to add more great twos into this deck. Because you do run through great twos a lot now. But his uh, continuous ability, GB2 Brave, during your turn, all of your other units in your front row get an extra 3k, and that stacks. So if you have an extra red on or three red ons out, which you, more than likely you wouldn't, but if you did, that's a permanent 9k to the front row, which is really good, actually. And then his auto ability, when this unit is placed on rear guard circle due to an effect of your card, if you have a vanguard with alt mile in its card name, this unit gets an extra 3k until end of turn. Then, if you have a face-up card in your G zone, choose choose a card from your hand, and you may discard it. If you do, this unit gets the boost ability until end of turn. So literally, just kind of put them behind the vanguard, and then if I want to get the boost ability, get the boost ability. But he's made he's mainly just for the three K power permanently during your turn. Next, I run four cards from the new set: Peerless Knight Lavar. He is honestly what makes this deck, a portion of what makes this deck good now, or at least viable. One, he's a 10k base, but mainly for his second skill, but getting onto his skills, he has continuous ability. If you do not have a Vanguard with the Brave ability, he can't attack, which, of course, everything in here is Brave, so that shouldn't matter. And then his second ability... Rearguard Circle, Brave, Counterblast 1, when this unit attacks. If you have a Vanguard with Ult Mile in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to 1 Grade 2 with the Brave ability, not named Peerless Knight, Leverot. Call it to Rearguard Circle and shuffle your deck. So he's literally a... Basically, Sullyman. With, uh... Without the... Drop the card, uh, Condition. And then, obviously... For his counterpart, I run four of the Sullyman. So, his ability, a continuous GB1 Brave. If you have a Vanguard with Ult Mile in its card name, he gets an extra 3k. And his second ability, Counterblast 1, and choose a card from your hand and discard it. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have a Vanguard with Ult Mile in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one grade 2 not named Counteroffensive Knight Sullyman. Call it the Rear Guard, shuffle your deck. And that unit gets an extra 2k until end of turn. So you can literally just combo calls like Sullyman, then Lavaret, and Sullyman, then Lavaret for m many multi attacks along with uh, your new fetus' skill, which basically wrecks. But that's it for the twos. Moving on to the great ones, I run one of the support sorcerer uh, Damascus. Reason being is because if I'm going to use my counter blast, it's going to be for like a, it's going to be for a finishing like turn for the most part. But her skill, which she's basically a Sonic Go clone, if you know what Sonic Go is, uh, auto auto ability GB one, brave. At the end of your turn, well, uh, retire this unit. At the end of your turn, you may pay the cost if you do draw a card and counter charge two. So I literally kind of use her for, like, first strike. Moving on to the next great ones. I run two of, I say his name all the time. I think it's Numi or Gumi or something like that. This also came out in the new set. I 
contemplating on running it, but because of the, he's basically a strike fighter, but because I only run three strike fighters now, he's just kind of like a backup. And also because he has the brave name. But his skill, continuous ability, brave, you may pay the cost of choose a new me from your rear guard circle and retire as a cost for stride. So he's okay. Next, I run just three perfect guards, and it's only because of the new G Guardian that came out. So basically, you have like five perfect guards in the deck. And it's also just to make some room for my grade twos. But I run Security Knight uh, Regis, or Regius. Obviously, he's a perfect guard. So call him down, uh, choose one of your units, and it can't be hit. But his second ability is basically why I only have three. His GB2, Brave. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, if you have a Vanguard with Ultmile in its card name, Soul Charge 1. Then, if the number of cards in your hand is one or less, choose one of your units that is being attacked and it cannot be hit turn it into battle. So basically, he's a you can perfect guard, for, perfect guard for free without dropping a card. Reason why I run three. Then I run... Three of the Stride Fodder, Sisyphus. You know, everybody knows what Stride Fodder does at this point. And then finally, I run, I used to run four, but I broke it down to three again just to make space for grade twos. A uh, new card, Lunar Knight Felix. He's really good, actually. He's basically a great, great one version of Redon. But his skill, continuous. If you have a Vanguard with the Brave ability, this unit gets an extra 1k and resist. And then his GB2, uh, second ability, Continuous, GB2, Brave. During your turn, if you have a Vanguard with Ultmile in its card name, all of your units in your front row get an extra 2k and resist. So it messes up those uh, G Guardians that like to mess with your field. Specifically like, not, like Narakami, Kaguro, Gear Chronicle, all that jazz. Now moving on to the trigger lineup. I run 12 crit. You know, because this deck is very offensive. So, I run four of the alt mile specific crit. Bring your dreams, Bellinus. Obviously, move into the soul, draw a card, an extra 5k. Then I run four of the new card from the set. Knight of Vibrancy Light Lighters. Mainly because for the brave name, but also for like the power, just in case you really need it. She comes in clutch, and because the deck uses a lot of soul, that's why I kind of use her too. She has the activated ability, Brave. When you put this unit into your soul, choose one of your units with the Brave ability, and it gets an extra 5k. So it's good in its own right. Then I run, this is just for my own personal liking, just because I like to stick with the Arabian Knight looking uh, cards. So it's just a vanilla crit, painful blow knight, Gertius. One of my favorite looking crits. And then four of the new heal, a much needed heal. I think every about every clan got it, but Remedy Angel. Basically, skill. Bind this card and choose a uh, another heal trigger from your drop zone and bind it. When this card is discarded from the from your hand, uh, for the cost of calling a G Guardian, you may either soul charge one or a counter charge one. But now, moving on to the G-Zone, which in this case, honestly, it's like one G-Zone, one card that you literally use in the G-Zone now. But the rest are just kind of for the fact of having a G-Zone. The main guy of this that makes this deck really good now, three of Immortal Holy Sword Fetus. This guy is just literally dumb. I'll just say that he's kind of dumb. Uh, his skill, from act, his act ability, so once per turn, counterblast one, and choose a face down card from your G zone and turn it face up. Until the end of your turn, this unit gets the continuous ability. If your opponent only has one guardian, this the units the attacks of your units with the brave ability will hit regardless of the power. So, in, in other words, unless they perfect guard or something like that, your opponents are forced to drop two cards from their hand before every attack, or just take the attack in general. 
So with like I said, with the Salomon um, Livera combo, it's really stupid. And then with his GB4 ability, it's just even more stupid. Uh, auto ability, GB4 Brave. When this unit attacks, if you have a hard cart with Ultima on its cart name, search your deck for up to three cards and call them the separate rear guard and shuffle your deck. So yeah, it's literally just stride, it's either stride fetus or stride nothing, for the most part. But to have fun with the deck, I have my other G units. So personal like personal liking, I run four of Holy Dragon, Luminous Hope Dragon, just because sometimes you don't have the rear guards to fight. So you want to, I will have like a Vanguard specific fighter and just fight on his own. Um, it has an active ability once per turn. Choose a face down card from your G zone and turn it face up. For each face up Holy Dragon, Luminous Hope Dragon in your G zone, until the end of the turn, this unit gets an extra 10k, and all of your units with the Brave ability get an extra 1k. So he can get an extra 30k on his own while giving an extra 3k for all his other Brave ability units. And then the second ability, Auto Brave, when this unit attacks, if you have two or more face up cards with the Brave ability in your G zone, Search your deck for up to one grade two card, call it to rear guard. And then, if you have three or more face up cards with the Brave ability in your G zone, this unit gets an extra crit. And I run two of the normal fetus. Honestly, just because the fact that you can retire. In case you really need, like, if there's a really annoying card you need to get rid of. Fetus can at least take care of it, the old fetus. His skill, active, active ability, Soul Blast, I mean, once per turn. Choose a face down card from your G zone and choose a card from your hand and discard it. Search your deck for up to one grade two. Call it to rear guard circle and shuffle your deck. And if the unit you called has the brave ability, draw a card. And then until end of turn, this unit gets GB3 brave. When this unit attacks, if you have, if you have a face up card named Blazing Sword Fetus in your G zone, Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it, choose a, two of your units, and they get an extra 5k until end of turn. So it can be good. It's good on some, certain turns, but I mainly use it just for the retiring part. Then to two of the uh, Knight, Divine Knight of Valor, Halblox. He's more of like a, if your fetus, for, if for some odd reason your fetus turns just don't work out, he's sort of like your... Somewhat finisher. Uh, his ability act once per turn. Counter blast one, soul blast one, and choose a face down card with the same name as him and turn it face up. Search your deck for up to one card with the brave ability for each of your face up brave cards in your G zone. Call them a separate rear guard. Those units gets an extra two k until end of turn. Then sh let me see. Those units gets an extra two k until end of turn for each unit called, and then shuffle your deck. So. If you call five, every single one of your units get an extra 10k. Which is pretty ridiculous. And then his second ability, it's I use it just in case I have the counter blast. Usually I don't, but if I do, it's it's good. Act brave, counter blast one. This unit gets an extra 5k, so you can literally counter blast five. Instant 25k beat stick. Pretty stupid. And then one... Brave Lancer Dragon, just because I like the art, and I like, actually more so I like the ability, but I do like the art. You rarely ever use it, though. But it's an auto ability, GB3, Counter Blast 1. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to three cards with the Brave ability, call them the separate rear guard circle, and shuffle your deck. And for each unit call, choose a card from your hand and discard it. And then his, then the second ability, Brave, when your unit attacks, this unit that unit gets an extra three k to end the battle. He's also in here like the most, like the majority of the cards are in here because they have the brave name, which can really help uh, Luminous Hope Dragon and Knight of Knight of Valor. Then moving on to the G Guardians, we have got two of the brand new G Guardian, which is surprisingly really good when it comes down to it. Holy Dragon, Defend Hold Dragon. His skill, Auto Brave. When this unit attack, when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle during the battle that your opponent's Vanguard attack, choose one of your units with the Brave ability and it cannot be hit until end of turn. Uh, it's just 
honestly another perfect guard in case you don't have any more perfect guards. I run two of him, and I run two of the Knight of Divine Knight of Godly Defense. Egrain Egrain is still like a god, a goddess actually. Let's go with that goddess of this G Guardian for Alt Miles specifically. Her ability continuous GB one Brave. This unit gets an extra five K shield. And then her second ability, Auto, Soul Blast 1. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, if you have a Vanguard with Ult Mile and its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets an extra 10k sheets, 10k shield until end of battle. So a free 20k shield, bringing it up to, what is it, 35? Free 35k shield, which is pretty good. I don't only need to run two. I ever only need it to run two. And... That would be my Alt Mile Brave deck. If you guys have any more recommendations or want to keep up to date on our latest videos, just like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.